Mussel farming is one of Europe's major shellfish industries, with total net production averaging around 500,000 tons per year and with the potential for much, much more. Despite the room for excess, some businesses like this Swedish producer have signed up to a European scheme designed to test new technologies and methodologies in a bid for greater sustainability and profit. Of the days uh, harvested, four to five tons, I think about 30% will be waste. Due to experience during this project, we have uh, reduced uh, waste uh, between 5 to 10 percent. Trawling the mussel farming process alongside producers, research scientists have identified how to minimize breakages and waste at every phase of the production, all the way from the initial harvesting right up to the fishmonger's slab. One of the major problems is a huge amount of waste. 20, 30 percent of the mussel production is actually uh, wasted in different parts of the uh, production. The goal has been to reduce waste by 35 percent. We might not reach that, but uh, we we'll definitely see an improvement in the production. The project centers around the use of recirculation systems capable of storing mussels over a long period of time. This agricultural revolution to industrial fishing's hunter-gatherer method means farmers are less dependent on the whims of the weather, saving both energy and water. This is basically the same technology as we use in fish farming. With a research system, you need very little new water in. So for this system, for instance, we pump about 12,000 litres per hour of water, we circulate, but we only add 15 litres per hour. Given a normal flow-through system demands roughly 20 litres every hour per kilo of mussels, costs are also cut when chilling the water. Elsewhere, a protein skimmer helps guarantee water quality. This will remove any of the fine particulate matter you on or organic matter that comes out of the mussels. There's a pump at the bottom of the cylinder that creates millions and millions of microbubbles, and all the fat and protein in the water will adhere to these bubbles and being brought up here, as you can see, to create this foam. And then this foam is then showered and removed from the system, cleaning the water. The mussels are then exposed to various mechanical impacts during a grading process designed to further their shelf life. We made this fake mussel and we put an uh, impact sensor inside and we put it together with uh, the mussels to be processed and we could then record the mechanical impact during the whole way from we put it in t until the inspection belt. These measurements are then used to adjust rotation speed and water quality thus ensuring a much gentler handling process and subsequently a much tastier muscle. Scientists think this new environmentally benign aquaculture may actually improve marine ecosystems and they're enjoying the research process too.